Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Coding Commanders. Are y'all ready to go cruising all around the web with Commander Candy right inside your Ubuntu terminal window? Today, I am going to show you my favorite Ubuntu terminal web browsing tools. This includes text-based, graphical, specific tools just for Wikipedia and DuckDuckGo. Does any of this excite you? No worries. Just sit back and the commander is going to show you how to install and use it all. Number one, a convenient text-based browser called Lynx. Lynx is a customizable text-based web browser that you can use right in your terminal window. Created in 1992, it's the oldest web browser that is still active and still in development. To install Lynx, we will type sudo apt install Lynx. Check it by typing Lynx dash dash version. Then to navigate to a website, we'll simply type links followed by the URL. Let's go to my site, codingcommanders.com. Notice at the bottom of the screen it lists common commands, such as the arrow keys, up and down to move, right to follow a link, left to go back, H for help, left to go back, O for options. I'm going to do left to go back again. P to print, M for main screen, Q to quit, slash to search. Then let's type a query. Let's type Linux. And now we're ready to browse my website. If you would like me to go more in depth into links or any of the other browsers you see in this video, please comment below and let me know so I can get it done for you. Number two. W3M, which you can use as a text or a graphical browser. Under the MIT license, W3M is a free and open source web browser. It can be used as a text-based web browser and under the right terminal conditions, you can also view web pages with graphics right inside the terminal window. I'm going to show you both ways. To install W3M, we are going to type sudo apt install W3M w3m-img, that last part is going to allow us to use it as a graphical web browser. Again, we can check with dash dash version. And you are going to see the version number as well as a whole list of options. To navigate to a website, simply type w3m and we're going to go ahead and go back to codingcommanders.com. Boom. You can use your um, arrow keys to go up and down, right and left. You can also use tab if you want to go through. Let's go to Linux Gaming Blog. Let's tab on down. And if you want to go back, you can simply type Shift B. You can also right click to see options. Click I to view an image. Shift H is going to get you the help menu. You can type shift T to open a new tab and then you can simply use your mouse to click in between the two or however many tabs you have on top. You can also use W3M to open images. Simply type W3M and then the location of whatever image you want to open. You want to view the web graphically in your terminal. Type sudo apt install dash y x term and then you're going to install a terminal that does support graphical web browsing. Now just go ahead and open up Xterm. Now we're going to type W3M, daisychaincosplay.com, and use Xterm to look at it graphically. Number three, WeKit, which is a Node.js Wikipedia browsing tool. Now we are going to use my favorite command line tool for searching Wikipedia. It is built using Node.js and we are going to need to make sure that Node.js and NPM are both installed before we install the actual tool itself. We are going to start off installing Node.js by typing sudo apt install Node.js. Then we're going to install NPM. sudo apt install NPM. Now we are ready to install WeKit. sudo npm install wekit-g. 
now we are ready to use it simply by typing we kit and then whatever it is we want to look up let's say polar bears and there you go number four ddgr which is a python tool for using duckduckgo right inside your terminal Do you want to use duckduckgo to search the web command line ddgr is the perfect tool for you it is built with python so we're gonna have to check and make sure we have python installed before we get started we can check for python by typing python dash dash version notice a pattern here if you don't have python you can install it by typing sudo apt install python 3 you do need python version 3 or higher and then we are going to install a snap pack so we're going to have to make sure that we have snap installed as well if you don't have it installed simply type sudo apt install snapd we're finally ready to install ddgr by typing sudo snap install ddgr i already have it installed but if i didn't this would be the part where it installs we're finally ready to search the web with DuckDuckGo and in order to do that just type DDGR followed by whatever you want to search. We're going to search Daisy Chain Cosplay. You can just use your mouse to scroll up and down. To go to a search result just type its number and then enter. You can type D at any time to type in another search result. Let's search for coding commanders. We're going to type 1 to go to the first search result, which is codingcommanders.com. If you go to codingcommanders.com slash Linux, you will find all of today's commands written out in a web tutorial. Now we are at the third search result, which is my Facebook page. Now we'll search Famous Panda. You can type N to go to the next page of search results or P to go to the previous page of search results. At any time, F will bring us back to the first page. Let's check out search result number three. You can also access the DDGR command line at any time by simply typing DDGR and at any time you can type question mark for help. Thank you so much for watching my video. I want to know, what's your favorite command line web browsing tool? Comment below and let me know. I love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching and until next time, happy coding.